Hello and welcome to this special Kawasaki New Models review. My name is Frank Weying and along with Martin Lambert from Kawasaki Motors Europe, we are going to highlight one of the most important new models for the 2021 season, especially for the European market, the new Versus S. Our goal is to tell you about the background details, tell you something about the history of the Versus and its place in the Kawasaki family, of course, and then get into deeper details showing the features and the standout points that make a real difference to the riding and the ownership experience. But Martin, before we start talking about bikes, let's talk about you. What is your position at Kawasaki and more important even, um, what can we expect of the 2021 bikes? For me, Frank, I'm uh, the PR manager for Kawasaki Motors Europe, and it's my job each year to introduce the new models at uh, the major motorcycle shows. And we all know that due to COVID and the pandemic, there are no major motorcycle shows this year. So we're taking this chance to have a kind of virtual unveiling and to talk about the new models and share them in that way. I think maybe to start this presentation, we should uh, perhaps hear from Mr. Kinyahata from KHI, and uh, he'll give us kind of his overview of the Versus S and talk about some of the key points from his point of view, and then maybe let's uh, carry on and you and I can talk about all the other aspects. Excellent. Hi, I'm Masanori Kinehata, manager for motorcycle product planning at Kawasaki. For the 2021 model year, we are happy to introduce our further development of the Versus SE. Again, it features Showa electronically adjustable suspension. But now, with the unique advantage of Showa Skyhook technology, taking the Versus riding experience to the next level of comfort and dynamic performance, in simple terms, the machine feels as if it is suspended from the sky, allowing it to remain more comfort and responsive than was ever possible before. As Versus range leader for 2021, the SC model continues to feature a multifunctional TFT meter, electronic cruise control, a range of IMU supported rider systems, plus Bluetooth smartphone connection. That is not all the best news for 2021. A new S model joins the Belish family with a high standard specification, featuring most of outstanding features that made their debut on the Belish SE. The only difference from the SE model is the new Belish S features advanced manually adjustable suspension front and rear, delivering a brand new high specification model in the Belish retail class family, positioned between the standard model and the range leading SE. The popular Belish, any road, any time concept moves to the next level for 2021 with three distinct models, standard, S and SE. Whatever type of rider you are and whatever type of road you ride, there is an ideal basis for you. Arigatouございました. Let's good times roll. What can you tell us about the verses? It belongs to a family which is let's say, increasing in popularity? Well, Versus started in 2012, and it's gone through uh, quite a few iterations since then, uh, all of which actually I've owned. The Versus, when you look at it, it's uh, an adventure-style bike. We call it uh, an any-roads bike. It's not an off-road bike, but an any-roads bike. It's nice, high, wide handlebars, good protective screen, great ergonomic riding position, a fantastic seat. As a distance machine, it's incredible. But also as a sport bike, you've got that four-cylinder engine. You've even got an up-down quick shifter and you can ride it like a sport bike as well. So that's the interesting thing for Versus S. It can be an incredible tourer, but it can equally be an incredible sport bike. When you're riding along on your Versus and you look down at the sat navigation, and you see a road that's trailing off and you think that could be interesting. 
that's one of the great features of the Versus, that you can go off on a journey of discovery. The tagline for Versus is adventure calling. And really, one of the overriding things that I feel about Versus and that we need to get across today is that spirit of adventure that the Versus can deliver to you. Talking about that spirit of adventure, which was there in 2012. Now we've moved on to 2021. Are there still aspects of that 2012 bike when it was launched that you can see and recognize in the new bike? At the heart of it, of course, is that four-cylinder engine. And that offers so much. What that four-cylinder engine does, apart from the fact that it's a classic Kawasaki configuration, is that low down, it's extremely smooth and docile. In the mid-range, it's got strong pull and flexibility. Now, perhaps those two facets are shared with some other adventure bikes. At the top end, you can really call on a lot of top-end rush and, and have a really sporting ride, as well as the adventure ride. And I don't think that's something that other adventure-style bikes can really offer. You almost sound like a fan, Martin. Yeah, possibly not a fan. I think I'm probably an Uber fan, I think. Uber fan, okay. Um, Let's talk about the 2021 bike then and break it down into details, talk about the specific points and then maybe at the end make a summary. How does that sound? Fantastic. If we want to talk about the Versus S, could you tell me a little bit about the significance of the bike in the Versus family? You have your showroom models in their various color options. That's to start with. Mm -hmm. If you feel like it, you can look through the accessory catalog and decide on which parts you might want to add. But we also make additions, which are basically motorcycles that you can specify and then just take from the showroom when when you've paid for them. They're ready to go. Yes, so you have the standard model, here we see now. Then you have Tura, which has panniers. Tura Plus, which has the luggage, but also adds fog lamps. And then at the top, you have the Versus Grand Tura, which includes a 47-litre top case, Mm -hmm. engine sliders, universal sat-nav bracket. So at the top of the range, you have the Grand Tura, which I'm lucky enough to be riding at the moment. Talking about the brakes, Kawasaki also has a system. It's called Kibs. Could you explain a little bit about that? Well, that's probably just the start of the story, to mm. be honest with you. So it has uh, twin monoblock calipers at the front, as you, as you point out. And uh, they are acted upon by KIBS, um, an acronym which is uh, Kawasaki Intelligent Braking System. If we take a step kind of back from that, At the very core of the Versus is a thing called an IMU, an inertial measurement unit, which measures six parameters, acceleration, deceleration, lean angle, yaw, things like this. Along with the motorcycle's ECU, that that really is the brain. That controls things like Kawasaki Intelligent Braking System, but also things like uh, traction control and other systems within the bike. So there is quite a few layers of electronic rider aids that can help and support you in your riding. I'm not a very technical guy. You talk about these electronic rider aids, I'm bound to get confused. Let's just split it into two, okay? On one side, you've got the people that want to adjust everything themselves. They want to go into depth and select everything and get the exact specification they want. The other side is probably people like you and I that want to find a setting quite quickly, get on their bike and ride. And with these bikes, you've got the advantage of rider modes. Basically, you can select from one of four rider modes. By selecting the first three modes, whether it be um, a soft mode or all the way up to a sport mode, what that does is it combines traction control and power mode from a load of parameters which have been already assessed by the factory. So it's an instant setting for the bike. Finally, there is mode four, which is called manual, where you can go into that depth. But for the people like you and I that want to just get on and ride, it's actually really very simple. When you get used to it and selecting on the handle bar switches, you can select the mode that you want and then go off and ride. You're good to go. Absolutely. Good, good. Now we saw 
a glimpse of the meters. Could you tell us a little bit more about the meters? The TFT meters is, for me, one of the standout features of the bike. It's extremely clear and easy to use. We've had so many positive comments about it. I've ridden in very, very hard rain, fog at night, any condition, this meter is highly visible and conveys information really easily. Uh, one of its other advantages is that actually you can pair with the meter with your smartphone via Bluetooth. Kawasaki has some software called Rideology. You download this to your smartphone and you can interact with your machine. In terms of the Versus S, you can see uh, battery condition. You can see uh, how much fuel is left. On another level, it's almost like a riding log. You can see uh, where you've been. You can track your rides. You can see uh, the lean angle that you had on your ride and things like this. Of course, for the Versus SE, which has electronic suspension, you can even adjust your suspension when you're not on the motorcycle. And the next time you go to your bike, you turn the key, it pairs up and the suspension adjusts itself. <laughs> about three features so far, the chassis, the electronic rider aids, the TFT meter, there has to be a fourth feature. The fourth feature is the lighting. For 2021, it's all LED lighting on the Versus S. Mm. That means the headlamps, the rear light, the indicators, uh, the fog lights, if you've got them as an accessory, but also the cornering lights, they're also LED. And what do the cornering lights do? Basically, you go around a corner, and as you lean, the first light comes on and illuminates that part of the road that's in front of you. So your headlamps are illuminating the road ahead, and then you start to see a light shining at the base there. You lean over a little bit more, and the second light comes on, but it's not at the same angle as the first. It's lighting a slightly different part of the road. And then finally, at your maximum lean angle, you get the best display of lights, the most illumination on the road. So you've got the combination of your headlamps and the cornering lights. Let's wrap up the S and let's talk about the SE and especially the differences between the S and the SE. So the fundamental difference is that the SE is the machine with electronic damp suspension, which is from our World Superbike partner, Shower. And for 2021, the big news is that the suspension now is using Skyhook technology. And what does Skyhook technology mean? It assumes that the motorcycle is held or suspended by an invisible hook from the sky. So the attitude of the motorcycle remains stable while the suspension moves and reacts to the bumps and deviations in the road. I think we've more or less covered everything that we have to say about the, the Versus S and the Versus SE. And I think, Martin, that we could, it's safe to say that you are a big fan. You say you're a Uber fan. And I would like to thank you very much for sharing your enthusiasm and your insights, of course. And I would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to us talking about the Versus S and the Versus SE, the 2021 models. And I hope Adventure will be calling you very soon.